like all diseases, Mercante spreads. She spreads from one host to another host, <laughs> like a parasite. I mean, uh, John made it clear the, the Canadian connection with Sweet Baby Inc., another connection that we didn't really see uh, coming, was her uh, guest article uh, with the Rolling Stone. And I thought that was uh, very interesting myself, personally, because the Rolling Stone, Stone has had a history of, of spreading degeneracy, folks. I mean, the, the, yeah. the, the panel here has an age range between uh, mid-20s to, to early 50s, so myself to Kadath, uh, 25 to 53. And it, it just goes to show that we all have different... <laughs> it's the truth! To death, you're 53 years old. Hey, um, to death, are you 53 or something? No, I'm 55. Ah, <laughs> fuck it then. You told me to fuck off. I, I said you were two years younger than you were. Oh, dear. But in all seriousness, we are all aware of how egregious the Rolling Stone has been throughout its history. I mean, Miley Cyrus with her tits out, or John Lennon and, and Yoko. Ah! Oh no, with her with her tits. Uh, that's literally how she sounds. Yeah, I, I have Ryan on like. Oh, I had Ryan on full screen. All this was his face. Yeah, I know. I was pretending to be Yoko Ono. So yeah. to see to see Mercante writing an article for the Rolling Stone, I, I just it clicked. It's all connected. It's exactly what that girl Casey says. It's all connected so let's mm -hmm. let's start off with smash jt super fan uh what what does he make of the mercante creature penetrating the rolling stone oh you're muted muted I oh sorry, sorry. Lock, lock lock don't don't worry about these fuckers they're fucking with you you're not <laughs> muted carry on god damn it okay. i'm so sad though i, I I thought that Rolling Stone was a music magazine. I'm like, what the fuck are they doing? Like, uh, publishing ad articles about video games and shit right now. It's like, what the fuck? Well, it's the well, it's same like, way. It's like MTV, out. but yeah. magazine. Exactly. exactly. And also, uh, Locke, you're far too quiet. Could you raise your volume up, please? Is that better? No, Ooh. I'm taking the piss. Turn you yourself turn down. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. See, look, I'm fucking with my regulars. Oh, uh, inside the turbine. Oh my! No. Yeah, the, yeah. The uh, the power generator isn't working properly. Lock. Could you go in there while it's fucking turning at maximum? Uh, John, John, pad us out yeah. some time. You're aware of of the yeah, Rolling yeah. Stone. Does it surprise you that Mercante is has put her peen there? No, I mean <laughs> we've been calling this out for quite some time. We said that she was, you know, she's a she's a fence hopper you know like her entire sentiment of like you know like uh, getting herself ahead is going to you know like she is you know controversial so she's not mm. like a full-on fence sitter um so that she's but she's an ideological kind of uh leech that is just looking to you know parasitically get her way up the ladder slowly but surely by mm. any means necessary and any way that she can kind of tangentially uh you know have mm. some level of relevance which is why i brought up the sbi thing she's like i said she's the firewall now that chris kindred's gone they need a new clown to have uh for the circus and you know i saw i saw a picture sorry to interrupt you john right. but i saw a picture of chris kindred recently and and it is a, a i think a woman uh pretending to be a male i think um or it could be the other way around it could be the um, other way around not, not but quite it's, sure it's holding that, but... a spear it's literally right? had a spear so Chris Kindred is a spear chucker. I have that on record. You can clip that it. is awesome. That is awesome. But um, as it applies to uh, her and Rolling Stone, though, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, like I said, it's it's like MTV but a magazine, and magazines mm -hmm. are just as irrelevant as basic cable these days. So you know, I, I mean, when one of my many uh, past experiences, because everybody knows I'm like I've done like so many things. I used to mm -hmm. work in a printing press. I used to work right on a sheeter press, actually, oh, and. Nice. Uh, yeah, and, and so, uh, you know, like, um, and I did that up until the day that they sold off one of the presses, and then they moved me over to the bindery, and I was the guy who said, hey, you're probably going to be throwing, uh, throwing us out of here uh, fairly soon, because they took away all my seniority, and, you know, I'll that's what got me into in college for game design stuff. Yeah, I was so, uh, at, worked at a printer, too. 
Yeah, yeah, it was part of Club Corps uh, in uh, Omaha, Nebraska, like 20 some odd years ago. And so I could, uh, I could never understand why. I'm sorry to interrupt you again, right. John, but I could never understand why Trump didn't create a magazine. I mean, come on. <laughs> magazine. Damn. Great. Come on. Uh, that's pre- damn good. I mean, we could always sell a line of like, you know, gun accessories. Shit. Yeah, but no, no one, no one <laughs> fucking listens to me. Uh, right? 2016. Wait, oh. Say? Trump with his magazine. No, no, no one fucking. No, You're too white and too Welsh, Ryan. Get yeah, I know. Back of the line, homie. No, no American is going to yeah. listen to a British person who sounds so British they're going to plant a flag on New York while burning <laughs> it down. Um, but uh, it'd right, be but, interesting. It'd be interesting to get Toasty's perspective. Well, because I, I just want to add really quickly that uh, you know the the Rolling Stone has as much to do with music as Kotaku has to do with video games at this point mm. in time so yeah. it it kind of makes sense and now at that point now you can go ahead and move on well toasty looks like a magazine user at least at one time in her in her life uh, i don't know if you've ever read the uh, the rolling stone but i don't think magazine users know how to read um but are you surprised that this herpes ridden creature has gone from from one form of juno rats to to another no these type of people they spread their shit so mm. it's like a virus mm. yep. exactly like monkey pox mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i mean it's cliche it's cliche but it oh. is a virus it's spread like or, a virus <laughs> I, heard that that right. <laughs> I mean yeah a lot of these people are very sexual so they are spreading all of these sexual diseases about and i dare say the woke mind virus is also a sex disease because these people don't breed there's a there's a literal mm-hmm. industry around destroying people especially in the mm-hmm. united states so i personally believe this ideological infection infects the minds of people through sex deviancy mm-hmm. that yeah, sort of certainly. of, of Can- thing go on can I also oh, say yeah. it's really funny how they're doing like the what is it called this movement where they're just like yeah we're not gonna fuck any men. Like, me. Couldn't yeah. you do that like when we would tell you that like abortion was just an excuse right. for you guys? Couldn't you do? Didn't you like? Couldn't you done that like before? Because well, now they're just a, like contradicting hmm. themselves. Now all of a sudden they're gonna you keep say, go on. You want to say, on. Uh, bitch? Couldn't you do that before ab- abortion number six? You know what I'm right. saying? So, yeah. Right. <laughs> That's what we've right. been telling you the whole time, and all of a sudden oh, now you guys, oh, 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 now you guys are gonna keep your legs closed. It's funny right. how that works, isn't it? I mean, it's yeah, the spicy, easier said than done. done. The well, empire, yeah. the Agreed. the empire of of lies, ladies and gentlemen never relies on truth consistency but it certainly relies on on dedication there's an industry as long as there's an industry uh, surrounding something then it will continue unless it is no longer profitable and a good way of ensuring something doesn't become profitable it's it's not an uh, an all-size-fits-all solution but one solution is to fucking criminalize it as an industry so so if you think about it if it's not profitable to do it it won't be done for the most part if it's done medically then there's a place for it but if it's done economically there isn't a place for it that's the the separation because uh, folks like mercante organizations like kotaku and the rolling stone they don't value life they don't value liberty they certainly don't value the pursuit of happiness because if they valued any one of these tenants then their support would be growing and these people would be personally be in a, an organizations would be in a positive state when they are not. But I'd like to get Kadath's perspective because he is, he is the gamer folks. Look at all that physical media, not just in terms of games, but in terms of other physical media. This guy looks like a magazine reader, at least at one point in, in his edit, life. I used to edit a physical fanzine back in, like the 80s mm. uh, early night 80s yeah 80s and early 90s so uh, magazines yeah they yeah, used to be such things as newsstands where you'd go and buy mm-hmm. the monthly or weekly magazines i've got boxes of 2080s around as well nice but, uh, hell yeah. yeah that's my jam <laughs> right, hell yeah. right. Uh, what a well, great idea for a show dempsey <laughs> i don't know enough Ryan right. to make it happen <laughs> 
<laughs> but uh, you, you you never you never know. But it would be good to get Kadath's perspective because when Kadath was my age, newspapers and magazines. This was like thirty years ago. Uh, newspapers and magazines were the norm. They weren't necessarily the uh, exception. But to see this digital prostitute cosplaying as not just a video games journalist, but now an actual fully bred journal rat, to me, that's disgusting. What do you think? I, I think like both Kotaku <laughs> and the Rolling Stone uh, are, are just... Uh... Why are you laughing? <laughs> Did you see boobs again? What, why are you laughing? <laughs> what my wife said in the chat. You called your wife a dog. I think that's grounds for a I divorce. Her dog is... uh, please go on, Kadath. <laughs> uh, where was I? <laughs> I don't know. No. You were talking about Rolling Stone and Kotaku. Mm. Oh, yeah. They're both platforms for... Uh, they're both activist platforms. So she's just mm. a right. activist moving from A to B. Um, and then SBI is going to be, what, a more permanent activist gig for her. And she's just going to... Mm ruin anything that she touches piss on everyone and tell her it's raining and uh, and threaten to fight people and then never deliver she's just oh we'll 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 get we'll get to i that. would imagine yeah, uh she would. probably uh she probably pimped her engagement numbers and, and and that's why she does the stuff that she does is you know it's artificial and it's all surface level kind of uh you know she's like a locust you know she's just hmm. looking out for number one getting I, as much as she can wherever she can <laughs> go she should and, walk into the place and say i'm a massive bitch look here are the numbers you should hire yeah. me. <laughs> true just, hey but that's the thing though that we live in a time where I'm ideologically mean, minded people they will do stupid stuff just simply based on you know like quick turnovers and you know if they can get like any way that they can do more imprints to put up more advertising to do this and that this is all just a you know this is a numbers game they're just chasing after dumb numbers and two so things. she can she can help generate those, and two, that's two, you know two two things, John. First of all, Kadath has a phone which you lost, and uh, second of all, uh, Locke, who, who's your who's your wife in the chat? Who is she? The princess fifty five. Oh, good, good. Nice to see you, lovely lady. I I hope you're uh, doing well, and hopefully, Planned Parenthood isn't bribing you. Uh, so on that note, ladies and gentlemen, when we uh, did we get everyone's perspective? Uh, let's see if uh, tuna fish. What do you make of, Look, of the defection? Even when she finishes with Rolling Stone, which she probably will, there's always mm. IGN. She'll be giving Life is Strange four fucking eleven out of eleven uh, in a years time. So you know, there's always IGN. Don't worry about it. Well, I think she'll try to make a lateral move. I, I think, you know. Like, like, like I said, she is going to do what she can to continue flame baiting and do everything she can for simple engagement reach. And yep. due to that, there will always be at least somebody who's looking for a CD list kind of level uh, reporter that they can send, uh, uh, you know, to do the things that just kind of like get some level of reaction, even if it's complete cringe, you know? Right. I mean, I, I could say it is what it is. For her, if she decided that to go the gonzo journalism and just sort of do the the uh yeah kadath i'm 25 i don't know what that means just, uh, like a diary type journalism where you oh. do she could uh, be the next hunter s slutson yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> sluts on you know yeah this on. Oh, god my god that, that kind of reality-based content is probably much more entertaining than anything that she can write with her oh yeah uh, you know marxist deranged ideologue brain hmm. imagine if we made a, a magazine reality-based magazines all the racial slurs you could ever use in five minutes my goodness oh my uh, God, first, Ryan. i mean hmm? I just first one would be chud what's that is that woman a with an idea brace yourselves listen 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 you can make a reality-based calendar full of base beautiful women 